Can you believe how realistic facial animation has become? <laughs> this is the MetaHuman Animator, the absolute best way to capture your facial animation. It uses your phone's camera to reconstruct the 3D model of your face and then processes that into a super realistic animation. This wasn't possible until just a few weeks ago. You probably want to know how much it is. Absolutely free. It's free. It's free. How long does it take to set up? Only 20 minutes. And guess what? You can do it too. Just record your face with your phone, process it in Unreal Engine 5, and boom. Just like that, you have Hollywood level face animation. In fact, it's so easy to use that for the rest of this video, we're gonna turn into meta humans. Nice. Faraz. Let's go. Here's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna teach you how to set up your iPhone with a Lifelink app to capture a facial motion. Then bring the footage into Unreal Engine 5 to calibrate, process, and then transfer that facial animation to your meta human. But here we're gonna take it a step further. Once you get the animation working, you're gonna end up with a super realistic result on a floating head. Nobody wants that. So we're gonna show you how you can connect the neck back to the body. On top of that, we're gonna give you more tips because a moving head on a static body ain't gonna cut it. We're gonna use the default body animations available in Unreal Engine to drive the body animation and blend that with the head to get a full body motion. Let's begin by capturing our footage. First, we need an iPhone so that we can capture depth data. Download the LiveLink Face app from the App Store. Select MetaHuman Animator as your capture mode. We need to record two footages here. One that is the calibration take and another one that is the main animation, which will fall onto your metahuman. Before we start, always name your takes by clicking the text and changing it. For the calibration take, we need to have a clear static shot of you looking straight. Slide left angle, slide right angle, and lastly, you're gonna open your mouth wide and show those beautiful teeth. Once you're done, stop recording. Now. Go ahead and change the name of your take before we start to record the main take. Press record again to do the main take. You can always have more than one main animation, so record as many as you like. We're done with our recordings, so let's hop onto our computers and open Epic Launcher. Make sure you've already installed Unreal Engine 5.2 or above. Go to the marketplace and search for MetaHuman. Install MetaHumans and MetaHuman plugin to your latest version of Unreal Engine. If you've already downloaded these plugins previously, Go to your vault and install to engine. Go ahead and open a new project. From Quixel Bridge, add a MetaHuman to your project and set up your scene with some sexy lights. Before we start, some of the processing that we're gonna do might be heavy. So if you've got a beefy computer, make sure you go to the project setting, search for caching and copy the following settings. Now go ahead and create a new folder in your content browser because we're gonna stay clean and civilized here. Within the folder, right-click and hover over MetaHuman Animator. Before we get into it, let us clearly explain what we're about to do. First, we're going to use the Capture Source to import the footages recorded on the iPhone. Then, we're going to use the MetaHuman Identity to calibrate a new MetaHuman face based on the actor. You only do this part one time per actor. Lastly, we're gonna use the MetaHuman performance to process the actual take and bake it into a usable animation sequence that can be transferred to any MetaHuman face. Let's get started. Create a capture source, double click, and for the capture source type, you have two options. With LiveLink Face Archives, you can select the files locally from your computer. That's for when you wanna manually transfer the files from your phone to your computer. We are going to go with LiveLink Face Connection, which uses your network to transfer the footages. All we need to do is to fill up the device address. First of all, you need to make sure both your iPhone and your computer are on the same network. Remember the gear icon on the top left of the LiveLink app? Click on it. Choose OSC Server and copy the IP address into the device address. Save and we are done here. Now, go to Tools. Capture Manager, select your capture source, and you should see your takes. If the notification pops up on your phone, allow it. Add your takes to the queue and import all. Back to the content browser, now it's time for calibration. Right click and select MetaHuman Animator, MetaHuman Identity. Select Create Component from Footage and choose a calibration take. 
Here's why naming your takes when you're recording them is important. Down here, you can use a slider to move across your video. Remember the poses we did earlier during the recording? We now need to show you where the front, left, and right poses are in the video. Choose a keyframe where you're looking straight and promote it by clicking the plus sign. It will give you a warning. Click OK. You should now see the landmarks correctly fitted on your face. Most likely, you don't need to change it. Once you promote a frame, your timeline is locked. To unlock, click the camera icon on the bottom, then repeat the same process for when you're looking to the left and to the right. After the markers are created, click on MetaHuman Identity Solve. Click on Body, select the body type, and then click on Mesh to MetaHuman, and choose Auto Rate Identity Skeleton Mesh plus Full MetaHuman. Now we need to show UE the teeth. Click on Poses, Add, Add Pose, and Add Teeth. Use the same calibration video and find a shot in which your beautiful teeth are clearly visible and promote it. Here you can see four landmarks to define your upper and lower teeth. In this case, the upper and lower teeth are visible, so we're going to use them. If your actor's upper teeth are covering the lower teeth, the lower teeth landmarks are going to be messed up. In that case, you can hide and disable them by clicking on these two icons. You will get a warning, but don't worry about it. Even the official UE video disabled it themselves. Once you're done, click Fit Teeth and then click on Prepare for Performance and wait for the solve to finish. This is gonna take a while, so go make yourself a cup of coffee while you're waiting. Back to the content browser again. You should now see a metahuman identity for your actor. It's time to process the main animation to be used for other metahumans. Right click and select metahuman animator, metahuman performance and double click. Choose the main take for the footage captured data. For the metahuman identities, select the identity of your actor. For our head movement mode, we are going to choose control rig. Click on process to automatically solve the facial animation. Once the animation is done, play it back and see the magic of MetaHuman Animator. Here you have two options. You can either export the animation and simply add it onto a MetaHuman head, which is faster, but your head will be detached from the body. And when you attach it back, it will lose the neck movements and you're left with static animation. And we don't want that. We're going to go with the second approach, which is inspired from iBruise. Shout out to him. Here we'll be able to attach the head to the body Give the body its own animation while preserving the neck movement. This is the most realistic and ideal outcome. So let's go! Select export level sequence and click create. This way it sets up the entire sequencer for us. Back to content browser again. You should now see a level sequence. Select it. So right now in our scene, we have the take video, the floating calibrated metahuman on the right, and our main metahuman, Professor X, on the left. Our goal is to bring the animation from the calibrated metahuman to the main metahuman. In order to do that, we have to bake the animation so that it's transferable. However, we can just go and bake it from the calibrated metahuman. We need to first switch the calibrated metahuman head to match the main metahuman. In our case, Professor X's head. So go ahead and click the calibrated metahuman, then in the details panel, under mesh, skeleton mesh asset, Go ahead and select your main metahuman head. You should now see the switch. Play back the animation to make sure it's working. But before we even bake, let's make sure the main metahuman is in our sequencer so that we can animate it. Click on the main metahuman. In the sequencer, click track. Select actor to sequencer and add the metahuman blueprint. Now it's time to bake. So click the calibrated head. It should be highlighted in your sequencer. Go ahead and open it up. Right click face and bake animation sequence. Name it whatever you want and export it to the animation sequence. Select your main metahuman and in the sequencer on the face bar, go ahead and click the plus icon. Go all the way up to the animation and look for the bake animation you just created. By now, you have a fully functioning animation but a head that is detached from the body. So now let us show you how you can add an animation to the body connect the head back to the body and blend in the neck and body animation together. For the body animation, we're gonna be using the default animations that come with the third person pack in Unreal Engine 5. In order to add that, open your content browser, on the left, click add and go to add feature. Click on it. Here you're given a bunch of options. 
we're going to choose the third person mode and add to project. In your content browser, if you go to characters, which is a newly added folder, you will see the default mannequin characters that come with a third person mode. And they come with their own set of animations like jump, idle and walking. We want to go ahead and retarget these animations to our metahuman skeleton so that we can use it across all of our metahumans in the project. To do that, go to character, mannequin, animation and Manny folder. Shift click all of the animation sequences and then go ahead and right click hover over retarget animation assets and click on duplicate and retarget animation assets slash blueprint. On the top right of the IK retargeter, choose RTG metahuman. For the source, we're going to choose the mannequins, in this case Manny. And for the target, we're going to go with the basic metahuman body. Click retarget. What's great is that you have all these extra animations that you can put across all of your metahumans. So let's go ahead and do that. Back in the sequencer, go to the body of your main metahuman. Click the plus icon and go all the way to the animation and choose one of the newly added animations. In this case, we'll go for the idle mode. At this point, we have an animated body and an animated head, but they are detached from each other. But you might also encounter the same issue as us where the body animation is not showing the sequencer. If that happens, close your engine and reopen it. Now that we are back and the body animation is visible in the timeline, I want to go out and switch it with something a little bit more obvious. So we're gonna go for the walking animation. First thing we're gonna do is attach the head to the body. We're gonna do that by clicking the body in the sequencer and on the right side in the details panel under animation tab, go ahead and keyframe the animation mode and turn on the disabled post process blueprint. We're gonna pretty much do the same thing for the face. So go back to the sequencer, click on the face, and on the right side, make sure you keyframe the animation mode and turn on Disable Post Process Blueprint. The same thing. At this point, you now have connected your head to the body and the animations work together. However, if you've noticed, you've lost the original neck animation that you recorded with your iPhone. And right now, the body animation is driving the neck. The most realistic outcome is to bring back the neck animation we recorded and blend it with the body animation. So if you're down to be the best, let's move on. In order to do this, we need to go ahead to the face animation blueprint. So click on the face of your main metahuman in the sequencer and on the right side under the animation tab within the anim class, click the search icon so that it pulls up in your content browser. Double click the face anim BP. On the left side, make sure you double click Anim Graph. Once a tab opens up, go ahead and zoom in and look for the layered blend per bone. Click on it and let's go on the right side in the details tab and change the blend mode to blend mask. We need to define where we want the blending to happen. So on the top, click on the skeleton and on the left side, click on the gear icon and in the blend profiles, select add blend mask. In the search bar, go ahead and look for the head. Click on it and you should see the head bone highlight on the right side. Now it's as simple as dragging the slider for the head bone all the way to the right until we get to the value of 1. Go ahead and save. Then on the top right, let's go back to the blueprint. On the right side, go ahead and expand the blend mask and in the index, you should be able to see the blend mask that you created earlier. So select it. Once you do this, go ahead and compile and we are done. Go back to the sequencer and see the magic of the head animation blend with your body animation. And that's it for today's video. See you guys next time. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't, I'm going to haunt you in your dreams as a floating metahuman.